So that was the BJP-led NDA blowing the war bugle for political Pradesh. But it's been a day of Bahus, Bahubalis and the BJP's Badla in pole-bound Uttar Pradesh. After weeks of exodus from the BJP to Akhilesh's Samajwadi party, it was the turn of the Saffron party to conduct a reverse surgical strike on the Yadav Parivar, managing to poach Aparna Yadav, the younger Bahu of Mulayam Singh Yadav, sister-in-law of Akhilesh Yadav. This one really hurts. And in a high-profile ceremony this morning, the BJP took its badla in some ways in this entire defection Pradesh, pulling the younger Bahu of Akhilesh Yadav from right under the Parivar's nose. A big personal blow to Samajwadi Party and its chief, Akhilesh Yadav. Aparna Yadav, the Choti Bahu of Samajwadi Party founder Mulayam Singh Yadav, joining the BJP. A prize catch just weeks from crucial Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections. Maila ko suraksha aur adhikar dene ka kaam Bharati Anta Party ne kiya. Par udharan saaf hai. बहू और बेटी हो भारतीय जनता पार्टी में सुरक्षित है नेता मुलायम सिंह जी की बहू अपर्णा यादव आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी में शामिल हो रही हैं मैं हृदय से स्वागत करता हूं Bhabi turned political rival of Akhilesh Yadav now lavished praise on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath I think nationalism is a very important aspect and has been always very important aspect of my life. Uh, not only this, I have always been very, very uh, profoundly, in fact, indelibly impressioned by whatever Honorable Prime Minister and uh, Honorable uh, Chief Minister of UP, Sri Yogi Adityanath Ji, has said. Whatever their policies are, I think I adhere to it, I abide by them. And I really respect both of them. So I think I joined this party so that I can serve my nation better. The Saffron Party rubbing it in, almost bragging about a surgical strike on the Samajwadi Party's innermost circle. Coming after a serial exodus of disgruntled MLAs from the Bharatiya Janata Party. Uttar Pradesh ke Puro Mukhmantri or Samajwadi Party ke Vartaman Adhyas Sri Akhle Sayadoji. अपने परिवार में ही सफल नहीं हैं और प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में भी असफल रहे हैं सांसद के रूप में भी असफल हैं अखिलेश यादव हैज क्लेम्ड दैट मुलायम डिड ट्राई हिज बेस्ट बट फेल्ड टू कन्विंस अपर्णा यादव अगेंस्ट जॉइनिंग द भारतीय जनता पार्टी सबसे पहले तो मैं बधाई दूंगा और शुभकामनाएं और साथ ही साथ हमें खुशी इस बात की है कि समाजवादी विचारधारा का विस्तार हो रहा है नेताजी ने बहुत कोशिश की समझाने की नेताजी ने बहुत कोशिश की समझाने की बट इट्स नॉट जस्ट अपर्णा यादव द समाजवादी पार्टी क्लैन इज विटनेसिंग मोर एक्सोडस विद सेवरल अदर रिलेटिव ऑफ अखिलेश यादव लाइनिंग अप टू ज्वाइन द बीजेपी हमारे नेता माननीय मुलायम सिंह जी और शिवपाल जी को अखिलेश जी ने बहुत प्रताड़ित किया हम लोग अंदर से बहुत दुखी हैं समाजदार समाजवादी विचारधारा इतने लोग थे अखिलेश जी ने सबको किनारा कर दिया अपर्णा हु इज क्लोज टू मुलायम इज वाइफ ऑफ अखिलेश स्टेप ब्रदर प्रतीक यादव Her interactions with Yogi Adityanath had earlier raised eyebrows within the Samajwadi Party circles. While the Samajwadi Party will play down the electoral significance of Aparna Yadav jumping ship to the Bharatiya Janata Party, the BJP is showcasing it as a rift, as a division within the SP family, hoping it is seen as a dent to its perception. With camera person Ashwini Helen, Polami Saha in Delhi for India Today. So this is obviously pretty personal, right? This is uh, the younger Bahu of Mulayam Singh Yadav just before the Uttar Pradesh election jumping to the 
veritable proverbial enemy camp of the BJP. So what are the implications of Aparna Yadav quitting the Samajwadi party and joining the BJP right before this election in which her family's party, the Samajwadi party, is challenger number one to Yogi Adityanath. What message does it send to poll-bound Uttar Pradesh? For Akhilesh Yadav, it's a big embarrassment in the run-up to these elections. For the BJP, it's a huge trophy. It's a symbolic big trophy in UP poll season for Akhilesh. Aparna Yadav Yadav stands by herself, of course. It's a dent in the Yadav Parivar and the household. But for the BJP, it's a massive morale booster after what has been a month full of very, very high-profile exits from the, Yodi, uh, from the Yogi administration. For Akhilesh Yadav, it's a confusing signal for Samajwadi party workers. Why is Mulayam's Bahu, younger Bahu, quitting the family party, the family business, the family party and going over to the rival camp. Doesn't that confuse the karyakartas of the Samajwadi party? For the BJP, it gives them bragging value over Samajwadi party. For Akhilesh, it's a possible split in the Yadav vote bank because Aparna Yadav, like I said, stands entirely by herself. For the BJP, it shows that Akhilesh may not be fully in control of his own family members, let alone Uttar Pradesh. For Akhilesh, it's also a blow because after the truce, with warring uncle Shivpal Yadav, now it shows that he doesn't have a full, you know, puckered over everybody in his family. For the BJP, it's a possible gain for women voters, especially at a time who could be leaning towards the Samajwadi party. Now let me tell you who Aparna Yadav is. Where does she figure in the larger Yadav Parivar? Many will be wondering who is she. People are familiar with Akhilesh and Dimple Yadav. So who is Aparna Yadav? who has suddenly grabbed all the headlines for you. Let's break down the Parivar and then it will become very clear to you. At the helm of it is, of course, the patriarch Mulayam Singh Yadav, who is the founder of the Samajwadi party. Mulayam's first wife is Malati Devi, who died in 2003. Akhilesh Yadav is the son of Mulayam and Malati Devi. Who went on, he, Mulayam, of course, went on to become the Chief Minister of UP and Akhilesh also went on to become the Chief Minister of UP and is now is the Chief of the Samajwadi Party. Akhilesh's wife is Dimple Yadav, you know of her. She's a former Member of Parliament from the Kanauj constituency. Now, Mulayam's second wife is Sadhana Gupta Yadav. Pratik Yadav is their son, Mulayam. And Sadhana Gupta Yadav's son is Pratik Yadav. So that makes him the stepbrother of Akhilesh. He runs high-end gyms. He's a businessman in Lucknow and manages the family's extensive land holdings in Uttar Pradesh. Pratik's wife is Aparna Yadav, who has now joined the BJP ahead of the UP elections. Now, it's been a day of Bahu's, Bahubali's and the BJP's badla, but... It is only the cherry on top, the latest chapter in what has been a non-stop flurry of idhar udhar between the BJP and the Samajwadi party. The season of Ayaram Gayaram politics is back as the crucial Uttar Pradesh polls draw near. Defections are hogging all of this early limelight with even high-profile people like Swami Prasad Maurya and now Aparna Yadav changing tracks. Ministers and political leaders jumping ship have made voters sit and ponder. Take a look. At who all? Just to recap for you, all those who've switched parties and headed over to the enemy camp. From the BJP to the Samajwadi party, Swami Prasad Maurya, ex-minister, Dharam Singh Saini, also ex-minister, Dara Singh Chauhan, also high-profile ex-minister, Bhagwati Sagar, MLA from Bilor, he's also defected from the BJP and gone to Samajwadi party, Roshan Lal Varma, MLA from Tilhar, Vijay, Vinay Shakya, MLA from Biduna constituency, Brijesh Prajapati of the Prajapati community, MLA from Tindwari, has also defected. Mukesh Varva, MLA from Shikohabad. All of these people have joined the Samajwadi party. Many had come from the BSP of Mayavati. They came to the BJP and now they've gone to the Samajwadi party. The number is much smaller from the Samajwadi party, the BJP, but symbolic value is extremely high. Aparna Yadav, like we just showed you, is Mulayam's daughter-in-law, Akhilesh's sister-in-law. So it hits where it hurts. This is hitting the Yadav Parivar, where people will start wondering whether they are in control at all. Apart from Aparna Yadav, there is also Pramod Gupta, who is Mulayam Singh Yadav's brother-in-law. So family member number two who's been poached from the Samajwadi party. Hari Om Yadav, he's a Samajwadi party MLA. Om Prakash Varma, ex-Samajwadi party MLA. 
So, like what I basically wanted to show you, it's the clash of the UP titans and it has made UP the very typical defection Pradesh that is always seen to be the case. Now, it'll be interesting to see whether these turncoats, these people who've switched over to the other side, can fetch votes for their parties or is this just a shift for personal political gain? Are these Mossam Vaigyanics of the political season in UP. I want to go across to India today's Abhishek Mishra, uh, you know, for more. Uh, today's headline grabber, Abhishek, of course, has been, uh, has been Aparna Yadav, uh, a, a person who we have seen, you know, enter the headlines from time to time in the past for taking a soft stand on the BJP. But this is a big move. She appears to have bitten the bullet. How do you, you know, how is this being seen within the Samajwadi party, Abhishek? Well, absolutely, Shiv. There is no doubt of the fact that the way uh, Aparna Yadav has taken the membership of the BJP and is also now set to contest the UP Assembly elections is indeed a given a message out there. One, yes, of course, the BJP has successfully been able to dent within the you know, um, uh, Vyada family and there has been always an allegation about it but at the same time the BJP is giving this message that Akhilesh Yadav was not able to handle the family and you know all these uh, uh, jibes which have been used about the women's security and all, the, all those things it looks like that it is all about giving a narrative and which has been done. Number two, uh, you know, Aparna was demanding a ticket from the Lucknow can seat and that looks like has become a major point of this decision. Although the BJP has not uh, released the list so far and it remains to be seen whether she will be filled from that particular seat because on the other hand, another leader, Rita Bahugra Joshi is demanding for a ticket for her son from the same seat and the retaining uh, member of uh, Legislative Assembly, mm. MLA, is a, a, another strong candidate. So that remains to be seen what will be the strategy. But one thing is very clear that a message has been given. Akhilesh Yadav also responded to it. He said that Mulayam Singh Yadav tried to convince her, but it's her own decision. But one thing is very clear, Shiv, with, with this particular move, BJP has given it back to the Samajwadi party for all those ministers and MLAs who earlier left the party, joined the Samajwadi, and BJP is again saying there are some other leaders as well in near future who are going to join the BJP, and that remains to be seen who those big faces are. This is, this yeah. is a cutthroat business. Elections, mean that you know all bets are off uh, there are no moves which are barred and you know anything all is fair in love and elections in India it appears especially during this season and with all due respect because Aparna Yadav stands entirely by herself she's a politician of her own standing but metaphorically this is almost like the BJP saying hum ghar mein ghuske aapke log le jayenge. that's what the BJP appears to have told Akhilesh Yadav Bulayam Singh Yadav and the larger Samajwadi party Parivar thanks very much Abhishek for getting us the latest on that meanwhile Akhilesh Yadav has now hinted at contesting the upcoming elections. He has said that he will contest from Azamgarh, which is a family stronghold, if the people of Azamgarh give him permission. This actually reminded me of something that Arvind Kejriwal would perhaps say. He's gone to the people to ask them, but what else is an election? You're asking for people's votes. So what is this about asking people whether you should stand? Well, the BJP has alleged that the Samajwadi Party chief is being pressurized by Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath's decision to contest the polls from Gorakhpur. And that's why Akhilesh is now testing the waters and wondering whether he should take the plunge as well. मैं आजमगढ़ की जनता से कहूंगा और पार्टी जहां फैसला लेगी वहां लड़ूंगा और चुनाव पहले होना चाहिए योगी जी से पहले लड़ लें चुनाव High stakes Uttar Pradesh poll battle witnessing historic firsts it may be the first time ever when two leading contenders for the top political job in the state will be hitting the poll fray Days after the BJP declared Yogi Adityanath as its candidate from the Gorakhpur urban seat, the Samajwadi party is set to bite the bullet. Party chief Akhilesh Yadav has given the clearest hint so far that he too could contest in the upcoming assembly election for the first time, virtually choosing the Samajwadi party stronghold of Azamgarh. I will Azamgarh the people नहीं आजमगढ़ की जनता से अनुमति इसलिए लेनी पड़ेगी वहां के लोगों ने मुझे जिताया है अखिलेश's change of heart comes after both UP chief minister yogi and his deputy keshav prasad maurya decided to fight this election from crucial eastern up region 
The BJP had taken a dig at Akhilesh and dared him not to run away from the pole dangal. अगर उन्हें चुनाव लड़ना ही था तो इतना समय पड़ा था अभी तक वो तय नहीं कर पाए थे उन्हें चुनाव कहां से लड़ना है जब चुनाव के बिल्कुल मुहाने पर खड़े हैं और हार उन्हें सामने दिख रही है तो ये चिंता है कि जाएं कि ना जाएं अब ये तो तय उन्हें करना होगा बड़ी देर कर दी हजूर आते आते अखिलेश यादव जी पर इतना दबाव था मुख्यमंत्री योगी आदित्यनाथ जी के चुनाव लड़ने की घोषणा के बाद उनके पार्टी कार्यकर्ताओं में बड़ी निराशा थी और ऐसे में आप कार्यकर्ताओं के दबाव के बाद अखिलेश यादव जी नामुकुर करते हुए चुनाव लड़ने के लिए तैयार ही हो रहे हैं लेकिन उनकी पराजय सुनिश्चित है अखिलेश बिग मूव कम्स ऑन डे वेन हिज सिस्टर इन लॉ अपर्णा यादव इज ज्वाइन द बीजेपी द मूव मे बी अ बिग वन टू री अश्योर द समाजवादी पार्टी कार्ड विद समर्थ श्रीवास्तव इन लखनऊ ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे Meanwhile, controversial hate-spewing Muslim cleric and Congress's new ally Tawki Raza Khan has made yet another inflammatory statement in public, lavishing praise on the two Indian Mujahideen terrorists who were killed in the infamous 2008 Batla House encounter in Delhi. The Congress ally said that if an inquiry into the 2018 uh, encounter takes place, then the people would know that the slain persons were actually martyrs. Well, the BJP, of course, has hit back at Raza's remark, stating that the Congress is appeasing terror and doubting security forces just to garner the Muslim vote. Well, this comes after the Congress provided support to Raza after he extended his support to the party in the state of Uttar Pradesh. The BJP has slammed the Congress after a picture of the cleric with Party General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra emerged. Toki Raza Khan was last year caught on camera threatening Hindus that they would have no place to hide if Muslim youths take up arms. In case of a civil war in India, उन्होंने मुझसे कहा था कि सरकार बनने के बाद हमारा पहला फैसला होगा कि हम बटला हाउस इनकाउंटर की जांच कराएंगे। अगर बटला हाउस इनकाउंटर की जांच करा ली होती, दुनिया को पता चल जाता कि जो मारे गए वो आतंकवादी नहीं थे, उनको शहीद को का दर्जा मिलना चाहिए। कहीं न कहीं तौकी रजा और सोनिया जी, तौकी रजा और कांग्रेस आतंकवादियों को लेकर तुष्टिकरण की राजनीति करना और वोट की राजनीति करना यह दुखद है यह चिंताजनक है कांग्रेस पार्टी को तुरंत इसमें सफाई देनी चाहिए